Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to give you a show of my upgrade on my truck. I got some gauges finally put in. Uh, took me a while to get the fuel working on it because I had some issues with my brand new sending unit, go figures. Uh, so I had to put another sending unit in this morning. But if you didn't know already, my old gauges, none of them worked at all. And sometimes you'd go down the road and the blinkers would start flashing out of nowhere only inside the cab it wouldn't flash anywhere else just in the gauges i think there was an issue with that circuit board on the back of them if you didn't already know they probably had issues probably back in the day i'm guessing on that thing but uh but yeah this is an intellitronics uh gauge cluster it's actually really easy to install uh it doesn't take much there's a couple things i didn't like about it which i'm going to show you in the instructions uh you can see i've already put 51 miles on it um for some reason, I don't know why, but it does, it's not actually flashing right there. But for some reason, the camera is making it do that. But in real time, it's not. It's just normal lit up. Maybe it's just because the way the sun's coming in and hitting it. But, uh, but I'm really happy with them. This is the second time I've used their gauge cluster, and they're affordable. I paid 350 bucks for the whole thing. It comes with new sending units and all that, except for the fuel. And the instructions are pretty easy. Uh, I'll show you the one thing I didn't like. Uh, so on the fuel it's got a list of everything here and my dumb butt I went straight to the GM one because I've done this before last time I went straight to four I went straight to the GM one and you can see that the switches are not colored and it doesn't really specify which one's down which one's up and I just looked at it and I was like oh white's up so I, I had it reversed and on the um, on the gauge for the GM, so I had toggle one off and toggle two on when it was actually supposed to be the other way around. And maybe maybe you guys look at that and you're like, yeah, that's that's how you you had it wrong the first time, Rob. I don't know how you didn't see that, but uh, I got it figured out now. That was my first trouble. And then re-diagnosing my brand new sending unit being out that was kind of annoying, but. That's alright, I got a flatbed so it's easy to change out, but, but yeah, uh, you know, it goes right up, you know, I get some gas, you know, goes up, the fuel gauge is working, there's the oil pressure, it's going up, temp's finally starting to creep up a little bit, but it's real easy, and then you can see I got a, I left my fuel real loose like that, because uh, I like to solder all my connections. Cause I'm weird, I guess, cause I worked at the GM dealership. I got.